Good morning and welcome to my Monday messages. The first live message of 2024. Um, I'm a little bit past 10 o'clock this morning. Um, apologies for that. Um, I'll try and be a little bit more on time in future. Um, so I hope you had a wonderful break and you were able to relax and enjoy your families or or enjoy your own company or enjoy the weather or just have some kind of joy. Um, so welcome back. And today I am going to spend a little bit of time focusing on the fallout of what's going on in the Middle East at the moment in Gaza. And I am not going to talk about the details of that because this, I believe, is not the platform to do that on. However, what I am going to talk about is the results of um, that, those events, ongoing events, on all of us, and in particular, um, in uh, for me, on my clients, many of whom have expressed a huge gamut of emotions coming up for them and very much dependent on their own experiences to date, their own stories, their own traumas, their own perspective. Um, and I really applaud them for coming to to ask for help and support in exploring those feelings and um, understanding them better so that they can actually uh, be in the world in a healthier place and to help contribute to a healthier world. And that's really what I wanted to focus on today. And um, as I say, huge array of emotions. And thanks for the thumbs up there. Um, and do chime in if you have anything that you want to, to comment on. Um, but what I'm most interested in is um, something that seems to have come up across the board, which is a sense of powerlessness, a sense of, um, well, sure, what can I do that will really make a difference? Um, I There's nothing I can do that seems big enough or powerful enough in the face of the extreme atrocities that are taking place and the you know the energy that that's putting out to all of us whether we like it or not um and <clears throat> i i there's nothing more disempowering sounds obvious um than that feeling of powerlessness um and i want to challenge that i want to reassure you that actually none of us are powerless ever and um Whatever we do, even if it is simply feeling those feelings and being conscious of how we're being affected, um, that is not nothing. And I also uh, wanted to explore the fact that I've come across quite a lot of um, social media posts that are um, really I was going to say descending, but they're, they're drifting into being very, very judgmental about um, how other people are showing up in this and how other people are vocalising and um, using or not using their own platforms to to say something, to express an opinion, to um, condone or not condone um, whatever actions are taking place. And if you feel that you are in a place where you can comment and you can express what you feel and you can ask um, for people to take action without judging them, without criticising, without shaming them, 
then please go ahead. And, uh, you know, there are many of you that are more than capable of doing that. Um, and I would ask that if you can't do that and that your message is very much about um, expecting other people to behave or show up in the same way that you are, then I would ask you to think again. Um, because many people are not choosing to use social media necessarily to express their views. Now, that does not mean they are not doing anything. It does not mean that um, nothing is happening. Um, and even if um, you're choosing not to do anything publicly, as I said, studies have actually shown that even by working on our own feelings and um, raising our own vibration and improving and expanding our, our own sense of health and well-being and emotional well-being as well as physical, um, that we are influencing others around us. We And it only takes a very small percentage of us to actually influence the greater um, population. So even if you feel that's it, that's all I can do at the moment is just look at how I'm feeling and how I'm processing emotions and what's being triggered in me. And I'm dedicated or committed to exploring that in every way that I can and um, resolving it or transforming it so that it can be used for good, if you like, um, for, for positive results, then that is not nothing. And if you are already making decisions in your daily life that are based around um, not supporting actions or behaviours that um, fly in the face of your own values, um, then then that is not nothing. So, for example, you know, if you're starting to examine where your money goes, um, you're looking at your shopping habits and you're asking yourself, OK, where does this piece of fruit come from? Where does my money go? Um, what is my money supporting um, or not supporting? Um, then that is not nothing. If you feel that you are moved to write to your government representatives, that is not nothing. Um, if you are just talking to your friends and family and expressing how you feel and you are perhaps offering um, more than the um, the narrative that goes out, the majority narrative, and you are able to actually inform your your children or your the elders in your family or uh, anybody else, then that is not nothing. And just by feeling and being aware of what's going on, that is not nothing. Um, so I want to encourage that, um, that any of you who are feeling a sense of powerless, powerless, powerlessness, then then just examine that and and actually ask yourself well well if i feel like that wh what can i do to c get my power back um what can i um focus on that's within my personal remit that will enable me to actually feel that i do have some power i do have some influence and as i said even if I just need to focus on myself at the moment. That is not nothing. And um, part of that might be reconnecting with the basic things that we I think we all want in life. And that is to value um, respect, tolerance, um, understand that everyone has a story. Everyone has um, different traumas and um different influences on them and they can only we can all only operate from that perspective until we start to explore it and um to 
practice non-judgment, to be mindful that if you are offering a call to action or you're, um, you know, you're you're offering a piece of information, that you're doing that from a place of non-judgment and you are not expecting someone else to behave or do the same things that you are able to do because we're not all able to do that. Um, and when we do descend into shaming or telling off or, you know, saying, why aren't you doing what I'm doing? Then that is creating division and division is our true enemy, if you like. Um, it's what created this terrible situation that's going on at the moment. And your power lies in whether you choose to support that division or any other kind of division, or whether you choose to get yourself into a position where you can support unity, you can you can celebrate differences, all our differences, and you can also focus on our similarities, or the things that we have in common. Um, so when you're actually exploring what you would like from your life in 2024, whether you're looking at that on a deeply personal level and you're looking at what needs to stay and what needs to go, I would invite you to add in some kind of visualisation of the kind of world that you would like to live in on a wider level, not just a personal level. Um, but if you can't, you can't. And actually, as I said, if you create a beautiful world personally, it is going to affect the wider world. So do what you can to actually ask yourself, what kind of world would I like to live in? What kind of world would mean that that's pretty utopian for me personally and how can I take steps to support that to help to create it because every little decision choice feeling emotion exploration counts so never never think that you are powerless you are powerless you are not you are really powerful and everything you do counts so that's my message to start the year off. Um, I hope you find it useful and I welcome any comments or um, experiences that you want to share. So thank you so much for listening and yeah, I, I wish you all the best for 2024. Take care.